So now, I will share to you my experiences, of course, on how did I get my Norwegian citizen, all those important requirements, how to get those requirements, and of course, the things that some of you doesn't know. Hello allesammen and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Donita, your Pinay teacher in Norway and if you are new here, I am making vlogs about my experiences and life here in Norway. So if you're not new here, welcome back again to my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe. And in this video, I will share to you a good news that I've already received my Norwegian passport so it means that I am already a Norwegian citizen. And did you know that having a Norwegian passport is having a visa-free, a straightforward access to 173 countries or territories? So it is hassle-free to have Norwegian passport unlike my passport report, Philippine passport. But of course, having a Norwegian citizen is also having the opportunity to vote in their national elections. And also, the validity of passport in Norway is around 10 years. And this is their new passport. This is my passport. And this is their older passport passport it is red dark red or maroon and this is light or red orange the new one so now i will share to you my experiences of course on how did i get my norwegian citizen all those important requirements how to get those requirements and of course the things that some of you doesn't know on how to change your schedule and everything especially now that UDI or ODE or Outlandings Directoratet here in Norge uh, shifted or changed their rules so I will share to you my experiences how did I apply last year first is I get my permanent residency after that I apply for citizenship if you want to know what are the important requirements on getting a permanent residency I have another vlog about that I will just put the link there and just watch it and also there are two things that you can do to have your citizenship first is you can apply for permanent residency and after that apply for citizenship or you can directly apply as a citizen here in Norway so I will put the link on the UDE on how to apply for the citizenship but the requirements differs and of course I will just tell you the important requirements that all of you must have so before telling those requirements i will just give you a short recap or story on my waiting time on how long did it takes to have my permanent residency so i received my permanent residency last october 2020 and after that i applied for citizenship last december 21 so I've just received the answer from UDI this month, this July. And then after having the answer from the UDE, I received a letter in my Digi post. I will share to you the short message on that uh, letter. And there is attachment to there. So you will print that attachment and present it in your local police district, in your community or municipality. And then you must uh, apply for a schedule in your police district you cannot just go there or do walk in we call it walk in you just walk in and then you will have the schedule no you you need to get your own schedule ahead of time especially now during pandemic so don't they don't entertain walk-ins so you must have your schedule and then now I will explain to you all those important and necessary requirements if you want to have your citizenship. First is fluency in Norwegian. So now if you want to apply as a citizen in Norway, they already changed it from ATO to BN. So you must pass the BN monthly exam. And applicants must complete the 250 to 300 hours 
in a Norwegian language course. But if you pass the language exam in BN, you don't need all those uh, R's. And if you want to know the tips on how to pass the Norwegian language exam, I have a video tutorial about that. Just watch it. And then also another exam that you must pass is social study exam or Samfunskunskap. I also have another video tutorial on how to pass the Samfunskunskap exam. So just watch it. So now let's move on to the next requirements. Your capability to live in Norway, you must at least earn 319,997 kroner in one year. Or you are studying or you studied for almost a year to be qualified as a citizen in Norway and get a support from Lonekase. So Lonekase gives scholarship or financial support to those students here in Norway. And the third requirement is you must live in Norway for six years for the past 10 years and you must present all your passport from the past 10 years and you must include all the dates where you go out or travel out of Norway. So you must take note of that. And of course, you must have your police clearance or polity attest for Stadtburgers Cup. So I will just put the link below and I will show you where you can get your polity attest here. Very easy. Especially now, especially in Norway, everything is online. And you must also hand in your signature form in UDE in their website. You can download that form and then you must uh, sign it. And of course, you must bring your birth certificate. And that's it. Make sure that you come on time on your schedule. Now, there are other Filipinos that asking me how to change the schedule. Uh, I've... I've been in our local police district here in Trondelag and I've asked them because I'm wondering how to change my schedule. And then the police told me that they are refreshing or uh, updating the schedule every Friday after 12 in the afternoon. So if you want to have a new schedule i will advise to you to change it every friday at 12 in the afternoon for you to have a new schedule or because i've done that and <laughs> i've always see that oh there's a schedule that is next week so i can have a schedule on that week if i prefer to have that so that is one advice good advice for you if you want to change your schedule and of course, the processing time, it differs a lot from the local police district that you applied, from your situation. For example, me, I have waited almost half a year to have my Norwegian citizenship. But of course, patience is a must. Just wait and every month, even though it takes a long period of time to get my Norwegian citizenship, every month uh, I receive a letter from UDE that still they are processing my application. So patience is a virtue, my friend. And that's all. If you have further questions or if you already get your Norwegian passport, please comment down below. How's your experience? And let me know. And if you have any suggestions, for my next video, feel free to comment down below and thank you for watching. Once again, I am Donita, your Pinay teacher in Norway. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates. Bye!